three, two, one. As we all know, Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, commonly known as SpaceX, is an American aerospace manufacturer and space transportation services company founded in 2002 by Elon Musk. SpaceX was the first private company to successfully launch and return a spacecraft from Earth orbit, and the first to launch a crewed spacecraft and dock it with the International Space Station. With its headquarters in Hawthorne, California, SpaceX was formed by Musk in the hopes of revolutionizing the aerospace industry by making affordable spaceflight a reality to enable the colonization of Mars. Musk believed that human survival depends on its ability to become a multi-planetary species, so he made it one of his life goals to make spacecraft affordable. Thanks to the developments in SpaceX, Musk has managed to reduce the cost of traveling to the space station by up to 90%. What then cost $1 billion per mission now only costs $60 million. Today we will take a look inside SpaceX's rocket factory, how it started, and its plans for the future. Elon Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 with little more than a handful of staff, an empty office in Los Angeles, and a Marachi band. Yes, a Marachi band. Today, SpaceX has footholds in California, Florida, New Mexico, Texas, Virginia, Washington, and Washington, D.C., and has employed over 5,000 people. These locations host offices, launch pads, factories, and test facilities. SpaceX manufactures the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles, several rocket engines, Dragon Cargo and Crew spacecraft, and Starlink satellites. The company entered the space arena with the Falcon 1 rocket, a two-stage liquid-fueled craft designed to send small satellites into orbit. The Falcon 1 was vastly cheaper to build and operate than its competitors, a field largely populated by spacecraft built by publicly owned government-funded companies, such as Lockheed Martin and Boeing. Part of the rocket's cost-effectiveness was made possible by the SpaceX-developed Merlin engine, a cheaper alternative to those used by other companies. SpaceX also focused on making reusable rockets in place of other launch vehicles that are generally made for one-time use. In 2005, SpaceX announced plans to pursue a human-rated commercial space program through the end of the decade, a program which would later become the Dragon spacecraft. The first two Falcon 1 launches were purchased by the United States Department of Defense under a program that evaluates new U.S. launch vehicles suitable for use by DARPA. The first three launches of the rocket between 2006 and 2008 all resulted in failures. The first successful launch was achieved in 2008, and the Falcon 1 was retired after its second successful launch in 2009, which allowed SpaceX to focus on the development of a larger orbital rocket, the Falcon 9. In 2010, SpaceX launched its first Falcon 9, a reusable bigger craft so named for its use of nine engines. And the following year, it broke ground on a launch site for the Falcon Heavy, a craft the company hoped would be the first to break the 1,000 per pound to orbit cost barrier, and might one day be used to transport astronauts into deep space. The Falcon 9 was designed so that its first stage could be reused. In December of 2010, the company reached another milestone, becoming the first commercial company to release a spacecraft, the Dragon capsule, into orbit, and successfully return it to Earth. Dragon again made history on May 25th of 2012, when it became the first commercial spacecraft to dock with the ISS, to which it successfully delivered cargo. In August of that year, SpaceX announced that it had won a contract from NASA to develop a successor to the space shuttle that would transport astronauts into space. Beginning in 2016, SpaceX also began using drone ships for rocket stage landings. A rocket stage that returned to Earth was successfully reused in 2017 launch. That same year, a Dragon capsule was reused on a flight to the ISS. The Falcon Heavy rocket had its first test flight in 2018. Two of the three first stages landed successfully. The third hit the water near the drone ship. That Falcon Heavy did not carry a satellite, but instead placed into orbit around the sun a Tesla Roadster with a mannequin in a spacesuit buckled to the driver's seat. The first crewed flight of a Dragon capsule to the ISS launched on May 30th of 2020, with astronauts Doug Hurley and Robert Benkin. SpaceX also announced the successor to the Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy, the Super Heavy Starship System originally called the BFR for Big Falcon Rocket. The Super Heavy first stage would be capable of lifting 100,000 kilograms, or roughly 220,000 pounds, to low Earth orbit. The payload would be the Starship, a spacecraft designed for several purposes, including providing fast transportation between cities on Earth and building bases on the Moon and Mars. SpaceX planned to use the Starship for a flight around the Moon carrying Japanese businessman Meizawa Yusaku and several artists in 2023 to launch settlers to Mars in the mid-2020s. 
SpaceX has flown and reflown the Falcon 9 series of rockets over 100 times. Looking inside SpaceX's rocket factory, it has amazing technology systems and staff. These have turned Elon Musk's dreams into reality. The headquarters building, an old Boeing facility, is topped with solar panels that form an X in the negative space. The main SpaceX factory, which also houses company offices, comprises of 550,000 square feet in a three-story building that Northrop first built to build 747 fuselages. Included are avionics, rockets, capsule fabrication areas, quality control testing facilities, and a glass-walled mission control center. The headquarter also has nearby tooling and machining warehouses, where SpaceX fabricates rocket engines and other parts for Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and the Mars-capable Big Falcon rocket. Inside the headquarters, a scorched-marked Dragon space capsule hangs outside the glass-walled mission control center. The manufacturing area contains important components for rockets, such as the engines or the outer shell waiting to be put together by highly trained engineers. A model of Iron Man lords itself over the factory floor. The factory served as the location of the evildoer's lair in the film Iron Man 2, in which Musk had a cameo. Those Merlin engines are fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good idea for an electric jet. You do? Yeah. Then we'll make it work. <laughs> Rows of Merlin rockets engines stand at attention in the SpaceX factory. The SpaceX Dragon, the first private spacecraft to orbit the Earth and return safely, sits on the SpaceX factory floor, while other Dragon capsules come together behind it. Looking into Elon Musk's office, contrary to the popular belief that he will have a luxurious and comfy office, Musk decided to stay together with the employees by using the same desk and workspaces with them. He said that this enables him to take away barriers from himself, other engineers, and staff, which makes him more creative and work more efficiently. Shortly after Musk founded SpaceX, he scouted for a location to test fire noisy rocket engines and launch prototype spacecraft. He ultimately took over the mothballed Beale Aerospace Facility in McGregor, Texas. The site was built by banking billionaire Andrew Beale, and it has rocket engine testing stands and was remote enough to not bother too many locals, but close enough to habitation to support an engineering workforce. Let's now look into the future of SpaceX. SpaceX plans to build a new factory in Austin, Texas, adding another expansion to the region from one of Musk's companies after the billionaire founder moved there last year. Musk tweeted creating the city of Starbase, Texas, without elaborating further. But the plan for the facility was revealed in a company job posting, which seeks an engineer for its Starlink satellite internet division. To keep up with global demand, SpaceX is breaking ground on a new state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Austin, Texas, the company said in the posting. SpaceX noted that the factory is designed for high-volume manufacturing, specifically to make millions of consumer-facing devices. For its satellite internet network, those devices are known as the Starlink Kit, and include the antenna or dish that connects to the satellites, Wi-Fi routers, and antenna mounting hardware. Starlink is the company's capital-intensive project to build an interconnected internet network with thousands of satellites, known in the space industry as a constellation, designed to deliver high-speed internet to consumers anywhere on the planet. Musk had said earlier that Starlink, currently based in Redmond, Washington, will be a crucial source of funding for his broader plans like developing the Starship rocket to fly paying customers to the moon and eventually trying to colonize Mars. The Redmond facility has developed and produced Starlink equipment to date, with the company building upwards of 120 satellites per month. To date, SpaceX has launched more than 1,000 satellites for Starlink. Did you like the video? If you did, consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. Now let's watch another fantastic video from our channel. I'll meet you there.